morning welcome to a day in my life um, I'm just about to have breakfast at 609 I have my first patient at 7 o'clock this morning and this is what I'm eating I just took out my Invisalign uh, this is what I'm eating for breakfast I have eggs salsa avocado I have some coffee here which I only need like two sips to get me going and then this is not wine I just love drinking stuff out of wine glasses <laughs> so today is the Tuesday after July 4th weekend and I honestly like over the weekend was overserved <laughs> a little bit it wasn't like so bad but like it was just really consistent a lot of celebrating a lot of family time and my family is Korean so we need to go on today is a really simple day at work I have one patient all day it's a big case it's like 18 veneers so what that means is entire upper, so 12 on the upper, 6 on the lower. It's 6.13. I want to head out of here because I actually need to go and set up my camera equipment. I have a very small office, so it's small, like 750 square foot office. And the, the nice thing about that is that I have really low rent, <laughs> so I don't have to, like... I don't know. I mean, I just don't feel stressed about like producing a certain amount just to pay my rent. Like my rent is easily covered. And so that's like the good part. The bad part is that I have to set up my photo studio every morning whenever I'm doing like bigger cases. It's, it's tight, it's a tight squeeze, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Driving to work now. It's a pretty quick drive. It's like 15 minutes down PCH. If you guys watched my other vlog, same drive. It's really pretty actually, but the funny thing about life is that sometimes you just don't notice. But that's the drive. It's PCH. The beach is right around the corner. Okay, I, like I said, I totally did not vlog the procedure. <laughs> oh my God, I look horrible. It's 1.05 p.m. I finished my patient around like 12 o'clock, so we were working from seven to 12. So we made really good time. His temporaries look really good. And now, you know, I just like packed up the boxes and everything so I have to send it to the lab before I go home. And I'm writing my notes right now. Um, I just finished writing my notes. Anyways. So this is one thing that I'm doing right now. I am checking a clin check. So basically let's start from the beginning. You check it and it starts to move. And there are a few things that I look for. The first thing I look for is to see how much overjet and overbite there is. I also look at how the occlusion is. So like you can check, so you check how the occlusion is. Um, this is already my fifth time trying to adjust this treatment plan. So I just go back and forth and make like little changes and change the attachments and stuff like that and see what they can come up with. 
and I actually need to have them do another thing, so. Hey, so I just did my virtual smile consults. Let me show you kind of like how I do these. So basically when I get a virtual smile consult request, someone will tell me what they don't like about their smile, what they want, or if they don't know, they'll kind of like leave it in the air and then they'll send me a picture of what their teeth already look like. It's a great patient. She um, wanted to fix up her smile. She has this space and she has these peg laterals. She did basically told me that she's had braces and she's ready to do something to fix her teeth. And then I'm able to show them cases of mine that are similar to theirs and then I'm able to sort of quote them and then tell them how much it would cost. The the videos I send them kind of look like this. Hi Lindy, it's me Dr. Joyce Kong. It makes my life way easier because if people, you know, come to the office, it takes up my chair time that I could actually be doing work. So this is like a, a lot more efficient. And then now what I'm doing is I'm checking answer the public because I need to make some TikToks and I like run out of ideas. So answer the public is this website and you can put in like a topic. So I'm putting in tongue scraper because I have been doing a whole series on tongue scrapers on my TikTok, which has been blowing up. Um, and so now I'm seeing what people are asking about tongue scrapers so I can make a video on that. Okay, so I am in my car now. I'm leaving the office. I was trying to do a TikTok or whatever and I realized it's already 3.48 and the FedEx people, they do their pickups at like 4.30 at the FedEx place and so I need to get it in this batch because it takes like a day or two for it to get to the lab. I'm seeing a bunch of new patients tomorrow or not a bunch, like a couple. And then I have some like fillings to do at the end of the day. I remember I have an emergency. I don't really look at my schedule very in depth these days. Like when I first started working, I would be so anxious about my schedule and like how things work and stuff, you know, especially when you work for someone else, you get really anxious about the schedule and if you're gonna have enough time to do everything. But because I own the practice, my front desk lady has been trained to schedule things so that the way that I like things to be scheduled. So I have enough time to do everything. And I think that's super, super important. Part of creating boundaries is letting people know how much freaking time you need to do something. Like if I need this amount of time to do a filling, then please schedule that amount of time. I find that dentists, a lot of dentists, what they do is like they try to squish too much into, into the day. And that's a problem because then people end up waiting in the waiting room. You're stressed because you're running behind. Like nobody likes that, nobody benefits from that. So like, let's just schedule things the way that they should be done properly. And then let's be happy. <laughs> let's love our jobs. Like I have a friend who, you know, obviously he's doing well, he's killing it, but he looks so stressed all the time. I saw me the other day, he's like, why do you not look stressed? Why do you look happy? Why do you not look like me right now? And I was like, well, because Part of that is like some, sometimes you just have to sacrifice a little bit of your ambition for a little bit of sanity. A little bit of ambition for a little bit of sanity. I could make more, you know? The more you work, the more you make. But what I'm trying to do at this point in my career is to work less. I don't want to work more. I want to work less but I want to make at least the same amount working less or more. I want to make more working less. How do you do that? You have to do more procedures that are desired by patients to differentiate yourself. You have to learn procedures that they don't teach you in dental school, which is a lot of procedures. Um, you, have to, you have to develop your skills to a point where people can't do it like you do it. I think that is the most important thing. Okay, dropped off my package right on time. It actually was 4.15, it's 4.05, so I made it. Now I'm gonna go home. I'm like maybe two minutes away from home and I'm gonna see my baby. 
My baby. Hello, baby. The baby has been <laughs> just playing in his little sanctuary. Oh, my is pooping, Mr. Poop. We get very excited about the poops here. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Herc. That's my big fat ugly foot. Hi. I'm putting on his. We are having our nightly walk. Wait, I need to get poop bags. This is happy juice. What's in there? Happy juice. Yeah. Have recently started to do these walks at night. We like them. After dinner? Okay. Ah, uh, he's pooping already. My job is to pick up poo. Myron is also a dentist. We know that. No, people may not know that. Tell them about your day. I worked. You worked? That's it? Byron worked. He does different procedures and he says he did a graft today. Whatever! I don't do that. <laughs> Mommy only has two poop bags. Anyways, it's almost eight o'clock, so it's pretty much the end of our night. We're gonna put Preston to sleep after this and then head to bed. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!